and Love with Pat's Two Sons, here to share a warning and a word of encouragement. This is a weird time we're in, you guys, and I really feel like we should be more on the alert. Now I'm feeling it. I've been seeing a lot of warnings coming across YouTube for the longest, for the last couple of years. But I'm feeling it now. And I feel like we have to be very, very careful. One of the things that alarmed me the most, I had uh, an email. And I got a notification and they changed it immediately. The notification let me know that there were two other countries outside of the United States running that email. And if I chose to go with it, there might be added costs. So I had to let it go. Now, years ago, I want to share this with you. Years ago, I remember a time when there was an infomercial. And on the infomercial, it showed people crossing the street, walking down the street. And when they showed the signs up and down the street, they were signs in other languages, not English. Now, we're, we are in an, an English-speaking country, but there were a lot of signs in other languages like we see today. But this video was done about 30 years ago, and it was extremely prophetic because the voice, the voiceover that spoke said something to this effect. Where will we be years from now? What it was implying was all of these different people coming from these different nations with all these businesses and buying property and owning apartments and hotels and, and stocks and all kind of interest in this country might soon take over the financial control. And it may one day no longer be the America as we know it. I believe we are watching that prophetic statement unfold right before our eyes. America, piece by piece, I believe, is being sold out from under us to outside countries, be it the United Nations or other countries. Be careful. It's time now to start praying, Lord, if we are to leave this country, if we are to flee, where to? What countries would you recommend? What would be safe? Now, I say that to say that sometimes when things are getting ready to be hairy, there is a scripture that encourages me, and I hope it encourages you because it's said in a number of different scriptures in many different ways. But I'm going to read this one. I want to make sure I have the right one. This particular scripture talks about God's people. And it says, in essence, that, t okay, here it is. Daniel 12, verse 1. Listen to this. And at the time, at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the people of thy people. I got to read that again because I read it incorrectly. Sorry. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time, listen, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Let me read that again. At that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found in the book. Now, we know that as the Lamb's book of life. We need to be in Christ, you guys, and I don't mean in Christ at church and in hell during the week. All the way in Christ, because God will not be mocked. 
whatsoever man sows that shall he, he, they also reap so we have to be careful about how we walk this walk you know don't claim and then trip and and end up being a fake you want to be the real deal because when the nitty gritty hits the fan you don't want an artificial lifesaver you don't want an artificial light bulb with holes in it. You want something that's really going to work and keep you safe. Something that protects you. Now, there seems to be a divine order of protection for God's people. Back in the days of Israel, when God judged one nation, he would, sl he would slaughter their cattle. And even if Israel was abiding in that nation, their cattle would be totally fine. So whatever we go through in this country, whatever falls through the cracks, whatever gets overwhelmed, whatever floods come our way, floods of, of trouble and, and, and uh, trials and tribulations, whatever you want to call it, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift a standard against our enemies. But he will only do it for those that are his. Not those who pay lip service. Not those that pay their way into memberships of churches that are glorified sorority groups. No, he's looking for his people. And that happens in the spirit. And it manifests in our lives. And if it's not manifesting in your life, like Jesus said, you know them by the fruit they bear. If you're not bearing fruit, you're none of his. So ask God. Now is the time to draw close to God. Because things are getting hairy right now. And let me tell you. When I saw that on my email. And then I heard that some of the parks in America have been sold to the United Nations. And I've heard that different things are being sold out from under us, piece by piece, mile by mile. You better keep your eyes open, watch and pray. We already know we're in the last days. But let me tell you, you may not want to be in this country 10 years from now. It really depends on what God does. So it's prayer time. We definitely need to intercede, okay? There's not much to choose from when it comes to leadership. And see, this is where human beings went wrong. In the Old Testament, there's an account of a time when God set up government. And his government was what you would call a judge over a region or a nation in Israel. I don't know if you've heard of Deborah. Deborah was a judge. Uh, um, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm trying to think of the different judges. Samuel was a judge. A number of them. I don't want to go down the list right now. My point is that when God appoints a judge, the country does far better if that judge lines up with the word of God. Now, what man did was they started bugging God because they looked around because we as people are like this. Monkey see, monkey do. And what the people begged God for was a king because that was the end thing. Every country had kings. So Israel, like dingbats, asked for a king. And God granted them their wish. And things have been going downhill ever since man has been in control of their countries. Now, listen to this. What are we getting now? It's getting worse and worse. I don't know what this is. I don't know who this country, whose hands this country is going to fall in. But I'm telling you, I see the writing on the wall. I hope you do. And we need to pray big time, Lord, what do we do now? I am yours. I need to be delivered from the chaos that looks like it's coming. In the name of Jesus, Lord, protect me 
maneuver me, direct me, guide my steps, order my steps, Lord. I don't want to be caught up in this flood. Pray hard on that. If you are called by the Lord according to his purpose, all things will work together for your good. But you have got to remain in prayer during this time. Do you hear me? This ain't playtime. This is pray time, baby.